Sometimes you need to know when a certain symbol or function changed. It doesn't happen all the time, but when you need it, a tool to do so is indispensable. Slickedit has this tool, and it is available for Git, Subversion, Mercurial, Perforce, and CVS. Let's take a look. First, go to Tools, Version Control, Find Symbol Changes in File. You can pick any symbol in the current file from the list, or use the combo box to pick symbols that you've used in the past. However, it will come up already populated with the symbol that the cursor was in in the current file, and that is usually the one you want. In this case, it's called border area. Let's click OK. When you click OK, Slick it traverses through the versions of this file in your version control system and uses context tagging and diffzilla to calculate what versions of the file the symbol changed in. This is a fairly short history, so it is finished already. But if we had a longer history, we could start comparing versions while it continued to run. First, let's click on diff symbols. This will show us the differences in the border area symbol we selected between versions 10 and 14. Notice that this is only the differences between that function. We can also choose to diff versions 10 and 14 of the entire files by clicking Diff Files. There were quite a few changes here, so being able to compare the symbols by themselves is helpful. Also, diffing the symbols will still work if a symbol is moved within the file. Let's return to the output dialog. Finally, we can launch the history dialog for this version of the file. This is often useful to see what the comments were for that check-in. If you're unfamiliar with Slickedit's GUI history dialog, you may want to watch the video, How to Use the History Dialog. Only SlickEdit could offer this kind of feature because it uses SlickEdit's powerful context tagging engine. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com/trial.